here is our PDF. Resume PDF series of developer not just from the express. Wow, that looks awesome actually to me. You can just increase its width and I think it will work. Or you can just decrease the size of the fonts, spacing here or something. And you can take it into one page easily. So this is our resume builder, which creates a resume with the predefined field. It fills the resume with the content generated with OpenAI. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Tech Creators. And today in this video, we are going to create a resume builder with the help of AI. So you can use this resume builder to create your own resume. We will create this with the help of React and Node.js, OpenAI's API to get the content of the resume. We will be able to print the resume also. You will learn a lot in this video. I will explain everything line by line. After completing this video, you will have something amazing with you. So you can just show it off. <laughs> you can just add that in your resume. Make sure you watch complete video and also I will show the whole code between so that you can just compare our code with mine. So if you are stuck, you can just check it with mine. Also, I will provide the GitHub link in the description. Yeah, make sure you comment down your thoughts. Uh, do subscribe to the channel for more such content and you can also watch previous videos where I have created chatbot with the help of AI for web, WhatsApp, Discord and AI art generator. Also, I have created videos on how I earned 1 lakh rupees in college. I have also shared my experience and many more very useful videos which you can check on my YouTube channel. And I have also shared how uh, you can get access to Udemy courses for free. So yeah, I will provide all the links in the description. Hey friends, I am Deusa Jumal and I am a final year engineering student at Indian Institute of Information Technology, Vadodara. And on this channel, I create videos related to web development, tutorials, tips and tricks and freelancing. So if you are interested in these kind of topics, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel for more such content. Let's move to the video. Okay, so basically we will divide this project into two parts. First of all, we will create the backend and then we will create the frontend of this application. Okay. So for creating the backend, I have created a new folder which is called server and inside that I will create a index file that is index.js. So in here we will create our server and before that let's open the terminal and install some of the dependencies. So for that we will install npm install express course and nodemon okay so install all uh, these three dependencies okay so they are installed very quickly that's nice very nice you can see from here package.json that these are the dependencies now what we want is we also want to install uh, okay so npm init dash y okay so we have initialized the new node project and now now here we have got the package.json file also created so after that we will just write uh, start so to start our server we will say nodemon index.js yeah that's it comma here <coughs> okay so now we will require some of the dependencies which we have installed. So cons express equals to require express and uh, const course equals to require course and cons app equals to we will assign express function to this variable and after that we will also let's in let's add the port so for, let's use 4000 for that and uh, app dot use so app should use express dot url encoded and that should be extended and should be true extended should be true okay we also want our app to use express dot json and we and course also as we have installed that so course 2 
now we will create our server so app dot listen listen to which port so port and what will look what will be the callback function so the callback function will be console dot not console it's console dot log come on log server started on port here we will write port and for this to work let's add them into tick back ticks now this will work and our server will work now but let's create some route first so app dot let's say get so get route which route let's say api and what we want to do with that so rec res we will just respond dot json respond dot json message will be subscribe to the channel <laughs> so make sure you subscribe to the channel <laughs> okay so when we will just uh, hit this route on localhost 4000 we should get in return this message so now let's run the server so from the terminal type npm start and it should start our server so server started on port 4000 so if you go to your browser and go to this location localhost colon 4000 slash api you will get this kind of message in return so if you get this kind of message in return then congratulations you have successfully created a new server which we will be using to create our resume builder app okay otherwise you can just check out this code and see where you are going wrong so i'll just show you the code so a quick summary is that we wanted packages express course and nodemon so we install that so this is how package.json looks like now so this is start nodemon.index.js okay and after that in index.js we have port 4000 defined we have used some of the dependencies and now we are creating this route and on this route we are responding whenever we will reach this route we will send a get request to this route we will respond with this message and uh, the server is listening on port 4000 now let's move ahead okay so now our server setup is done and now let's move on to creating some basic layout of our front end so i have created a new folder called client and inside that we will just create open the terminal and create a new react app so npx create react app and dot slash so this will create a new react app with the name client so dot slash means the current name of the current folder or directory okay so now let's wait for it to get finished quickly okay so this is cool we have got happy hacking so now we are good to go first of all go to source folder and delete some of the uh, files which we don't need so delete logo.svg click on that report.webvitals setup.test app.test and click on delete and delete after that go to index.js and remove this these all functions which we have which we don't need because we deleted that file those files and uh, control save go to app.js remove everything from here from header so remove the header section hole remove logo.svg and let's write here h1 of resume builder with ai and yeah i think this should work now so to run this application we will need to say npm start and this will start our react project on the browser our react project will run on port 3000 and we have got resume builder with ai 
so if you have got this that means you have successfully uh, did the uh, drill which of removing everything and setting up your react project now let's move ahead now we want to install some of the dependencies so create a new terminal one more terminal and npm install uh, we want axios to send request and we also want react router dom so react router dom so let's download these packages and we will have to go to web.js but later on because we will need to set up the react router dom here but before that let's create a components folder inside source so create components and inside that let's create four files home.js loading.js resume.js error page.js so we will use home.js to render the form and fields to enable user to enter the necessary information like name what is their experience what are their work history and what are their skills and we will use loading.js so we will show that when a user is requesting and their request is pending so we will show that page and uh, resume.js displays the ai generated resume to the user and error page show gets shown when whenever actually <laughs> there is an error okay so yeah now go to your app.js and here we will just import some of the things so import home oh, I, okay so i think i will have to install uh, import it manually so import dot dot slash source slash components slash home okay and now we also want to import resume resume from dot slash source slash components forward resume okay control s now we also need to set up our react auto dom so for that we will import browser browser router from react auto dom also routes and route so one is singular and another one is plural okay so make sure you are writing the spelling correctly and after that we will just wrap this app with browser router so it will be browser router and we want to wrap this so we will just uh, alt up arrow and yeah it's done let's shift it a bit shift it a bit and uh, we have wrapped our browser our app with browser router now we can use routes and routes inside that so here we want to have route test routes and inside the route we want to have our first route as uh, its path will be forward slash that is home route so for that we want element to be also a home home and uh, for another one for another route we want its path to be resume and the element which it will render is resume yeah you got that right so yeah our routing is configured now so i was thinking to do go directly to home.js but let's first uh do all the small work um, let's complete the small work and later on we will go to the big one so let's go to loading in here we just want to display a loading text whenever we are sending the request and we are waiting for the response so we will show this page so for that import react from react and const load loading equals to okay so we will create a uh, anonymous function and uh, and from inside that we will return our uh, lab wrap that inside a div and let's 
give it a class name of app uh, yeah i think that should be okay and we will have a h1 of saying loading please wait dot 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 and we will export it from this file so loading and now our loading page is completed so let's go to error page and complete this also okay so we will import react and we will also need link so that whenever we are we are showing the error page we want our user to let's uh, just navigate to the home page so for that we will need import link from react.com yes and const error error page is equals to a uh, anonymous function uh, okay this is not the bracket this is the bracket and we want to return let's wrap this with the div and let's also give this a class name of app and we want to say h3 and we will just respond from here that uh, uh, there was some error there was some error please go go back to and this and this we want a link link tag of home page and this will link to to not this i want and this okay so there was some error please go back to and home page this will link to home page okay and we also want to just export default error page okay so we are also completed with our error page and i hope there is no error yeah okay there is no error actually we have to rerun it to see if there is any error or not so let's terminate let's start again because this doesn't have no word installed okay so we are also done with error page now let's move on to our main page and that is home page where we will show the form and we will get the user input and everything so first of all we will need react and react from react and after that we will also need import loading from loading const home is equals to a nono function and that is this and inside that we want to return return a div and they will say class name of app and we want to okay we will just add resume resume builder here and we will remove that from app.js so just remove this from here or not h2 let's have this in h1 so it will be a little big and look cool after that we also want a tagline so for that we will say create job winning winning resume with ai in minutes okay in second uh -huh, nice after that we want to have a form and we want a label so label will say enter your full name and html for we will say full name after that let's put below and input let's create an input so the name of this field should match with the label html for name so let's create that first and the type of input will be type will be will be text required will be true i don't know why this happened we will give it a id of full name and it will have a value of also full name okay so we want some states now so let's just import those states so u state u state and we want to have we want to have const full name 
and set full name equals to use there we want the full name to be initially empty okay. and just make it capital let's take them into different lines so it is it looks good and it is visible clearly now we also want on change function so on change we want to have a function call which will be set set full so on change will call a function and it will have e as parameter and it will call set full name it will give it a value of e dot target dot value which we will set it again into the name okay so this function this function controls the value of this variable okay this state so this is the state and this is how the function which can access this state and set its value and this is the initial value which we are defining as empty strings okay so we are done with this now let's have a div and div will have a class name of nested containers container and inside this we will have multiple divs so div so we want to have the same thing so i think we can just copy from here and paste it here and uh, just a second okay so we want our let's call this current position and this will be html for current position we will use that here also so just copy and paste type will be text required will be required id will be also current position or we, we can just remove this value will be okay so we will also need one more state so current position set current position and it will have a state of empty so we want our current position to have empty string start with the empty string and we will say current position and here on change we set current position set current position e dot target down value cool we will just copy this div so let's for this and uh, we will just copy this div here again so we will say the duration the how 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 many how much time you are you have been at this position so we will say for how long we will say this current length and just paste it here type will be a number required will be required and value will be current length let's have one more state variable so const current length set current length and we want it to be start with one and uh, we want this value to be current length this will be set current length let's also give it a class name of current input and we let's specify that we are talking about here so let's uh, provide that also and let's just again copy this div one more time and we want to know how what are the technologies the person knows so for that we will say technologies used and we will say it current technologies we will use that here save type will be text and we will again need one more state so for that const current technologies set current technologies equals to new state empty start with the empty strings 
Now after that, current technologies here, text here required here, current length, nahi, current technologies, current technologies. Class name will be the same and the on chain will say that current technologies. Okay, so I think, yeah, we just need the for now. And uh, we also need a label. So let's go out of this nested loop. And this is the nested loop. Let's go out. But let's again copy this. And paste it here. And we will say upload your face image. We will say this is a photo. And we will add here too. So this is a photo type will be a file and let's remove the class name and we'll say id equals to photo we'll remove the value field and this accept image or slash x dash png or image forward slash jpeg and on change we will say we also need we also need a state for keeping the track of our image. So const, let's say headshot and set headshot equals to use state and it will be null initially. There will be no image. Set headshot and this will be e dot target dot file at index zero. Files, it will be plural not singular and after that we want to have a button so button create resume and yeah we also want to export this so export default home and the uh, headshot is not set set headshot is set but headshot is not set but i think it will be set later on so now when you open the browser, you can see we have got our fields, but uh, they don't look good. So we will need to add some CSS to it, but we have got our resume builder, create job winning resume within, with AI in seconds, enter your full name, current position for how long, in years, technology is used, upload your face image and all. So you can just increase, decrease, choose a file, from here and create resume so let's add some css to make it look good so let's go to index.css and inside that let's add some of the styling so you may want so you can remove this and we will define the body as so for everything we want box sizing to be border box margin should be set to zero that is already done padding should be set to zero for the form we want it to be having a width of let's say 80 percent of the screen and display will be flex flex direction will be column and padding will be 10 pixels and for the input we want to have margin bottom of Padding of 10 pixels in the top and bottom and 20 pixels in right and left. Border radius of 3 pixels. Outline will be none. And border will be 1 pixel solid. Hashtag DDD. White. Whitish kind of. Now we want our button. To be of padding to be 15 pixels cursor will be pointer outline will be none background color will be green a little green so let's see which color we like maybe yellowish kind of little bit okay i think this is okay we want border border to be none and we want color to be color to be hashtag f 
5 f5 f5 white font size to be 16 pixels font weight to be bold border radius of 3 pixels after that we want our app to have some filings let's say min height will be control height will be 100 vertical height display will be flex flex direction column align items center justify content center and padding to be 30 pixels on both the side all the, all the sides actually and inside the app we have our tagline so let's inside the app we have a tagline so let's have a margin bottom of 30 pixels okay so now i want our nested container so nested container to have some styles so display flex align item center justify content start space between width will be 100 percent and for companies we want display flex flex direction call flex direction column width will be 39 percent let's have a current input to be width of 95 percent let's give a container min height of 100 vertical height padding of 30 pixels also go back here and let's add class name of current input to our current position also so here just add this so that this also comes into the line up and down now it looks good we also want some spacing below the label so labels can have also label can have a margin bottom of let's say 10 pixels now this looks okay to me so this is what we have till now so we can just type our name here now so we will set our backend later on Thank you.